Heron Weekly in Tennessee is set to host the Knoxville Regional this weekend, and we'll just open it up for questions for Coach. Well, Karen, coming off SEC, talk about the mindset now for these young ladies as they head into NCAA tournament play. You know, I think this is a time to reset and, you know, use the regular season as an opportunity to look back and think about what do we like, what didn't we like, what did we do well, what didn't we do well, and what do we want to take away from the regular season and move forward with. And so it's, you know, everybody's 0-0 right now, and it's anybody's ball game, and it's a good time to just uh, refresh your mind and go into it with a, a really good attitude. What do you know about your first opponent Friday night? I know they pitch really well. They have the best ERA of any team coming into this regional. And, you know, anybody who's come off a um, conference tournament title is playing really good softball and feeling really good about themselves. You guys are on the 11th national seed. Is that kind of where you thought you were going to end up? And then looking at the rest of your tournament or the regional with Oregon State and Ohio State, what are your opinions on just what your draw was? I think we knew we were kind of hovering around that 8, 9, 10, 11. And, you know, you always hope to get in the top eight. Um, I think all season long, if we have a healthy Ashley Rogers, uh, it certainly makes a difference. Um, I think we have an extremely tough regional. When you do it by average RPI, I think it's the second toughest in the country. And we're only second by, you know, maybe a decimal point, uh, you know, and it's it's really, really tough. I mean, you've got even our four um, seed here, you know, they're, they're in the 70s in an RPI. I mean, there's some regionals that have a three seed, you know, way higher than that. So, um, and then you've got, you know, mid 30s RPI in Oregon State, mid 20s RPI in Ohio State. Um, it's gonna be a real, real battle here. You guys had a tr tough draw too at the beginning of the season. Do you think that, in the grand scheme of things, helped prepare you now for the postseason, getting that early challenge? I think so. I, I think the the balance you try to, to you know find there is you want to play tough opponents, you want to challenge your, your team, but you also don't want them to get too beat up mentally. Mm -hmm. And especially when we took a hit with injuries, you know, I was worried about that, but I think they handled it like champs. I really do. And I think what we can draw on from that is um, there's nothing we haven't faced that we're, you know, there's not going to be any surprises in postseason. We saw it all throughout the regular season. We saw every kind of pitching. I feel like we practically saw every great pitcher in the country this year. So uh, I think we can draw a lot of comfort and confidence from that. Kind of going off of that, just how strong the SEC is in softball, how much does that prepare you for the postseason? Oh, it's huge. You know, every weekend you go into those series and, and you can say, hey, we're, this is a super regional. So you can play it like that. You can get that feeling and, and experience that. And then you know what it's like to come into, you know, playoff softball and know, hey, we got to win. When Ashley got hurt at the beginning of the season, was your at first thought that plan of, okay, postseason, jumping ahead, you know, what does this look like? And were you kind of relieved when it looked like she was getting there and, and you know, culminating with that performance last week? Oh, absolutely. There was definitely a detailed plan and a process to um, first shut her down and then very slowly ramp her back up and make sure we didn't have any huge setbacks that would affect us this time of year. So the goal was to have her in a much better place right now. And I think we all saw from the Mississippi State 13 inning game that we're, we're where we wanted to be. How did you see her grow through that? She's a very competitive person and this took a lot of patience on her end. You know, <laughs> what was it like for you watching her trying to work through that and be patient with her body? You know, it was really tough on her because she's uh, not only impatient, she's a perfectionist. And Ashley wants to be able to do everything at 100%, 100% of the time. And, you know, it's hard to go through something like that and know that, hey, maybe I'm not going to be the same Ashley anytime this year, but I can be 100% of what I have right now. And that's a pretty tough mental process for an elite athlete to go through. And I'm just really proud of, of how she's tackled that and how she's embraced going out there and giving 100% of what she has for her team. And then not only for you guys, obviously it's great to have her back, but how happy are you for her personally just to be able to be healthy for this tournament? Oh, that's huge. You know, it's, it's so hard to watch one of your athletes, you know, just go through that anguish of knowing, you know, I can't be out there to help the team. And, and that's what they live for. I mean, that's why they've done this their entire lives. That's what they love is being out there with their teammates. So I'm really happy for her. Anything else? You guys have done it very often, but how exciting is it to be able to play here <laughs> in postseason play, especially with the crowd that you guys have? You know, there's nothing like being at home and you fight for that all year to, to be able to host, you know, first round and, you know, as, as long as you can. And we're very excited. We know this place is going to be packed. We know the Locos are going to be up there leading the cheers. Um, and it's a tough place to play for, for opponents to come in here. So we're, we're very excited to be at home.
Thank you, Coach. Thank you.